You can now contribute to DDR's efforts at bringing you the latest in aerospace and defense indigenous development by contributing through UPI. We really value all your contributions. Thank you for everyone who's contributed so far. You could also join the DDR community on YouTube right here by clicking on the join link in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to be notified every time we post a new video. Today we are at uh, drawing release days. We will be started long lead components manufacturing also. We will be rolling out this aircraft by 2023 December. December 2023 we will be rolling out this aircraft. And we are expecting to fly the first flight of the first prototype by December 2024. And followed by three more prototypes by 20, December 2027 we will be completing the design and development of LC Air Force Mark II with the complete flight testing and entering into the production of the LC Air Force Mark II for Indian squadrons. Okay. All four prototypes will be used for flight testing and the completion of the flight testing by December 2027 and uh, subsequently the production will get initiated. And uh, when it comes to weapons integration, yeah. when the flight testing is completed, will it happen afterwards along with uh, the production? No. The, our concept is before we complete the flight testing, all weapons which are supposed to be delivered to the, uh, the Air Force uh, will be by design integrated simulation design and all the key weapons required for them to use this as a mission for a mission applications we will be integrated like we have a ccms that is a wing tip missiles we have a bvr missiles the two or four bvr missiles will be given to them and the smart bombs integration will be completed then inducted as a ioc to the air force while they are using this platform, they will be few observations will be there. Apart from taking care of those observations, we will also complete the remaining weapons integration and try to give a full platform to the Air Force. POC is basically by December 2027. The initial set of weapons will be integrated by December 2027. The complete set, while the production is going on, squadrons are getting formed, we will be completing the remaining set of weapons. There is no concept of IOC and FOC for Mark II. Air Force is uh, initially they committed for 10 squadrons while we are putting up the CCS that time. Now they said the 10 squadrons will be in two phases. Initially it will be 6 squadrons to start with, already they indicated in to 6 squadrons. Remaining 4 squadrons will be, subsequently they will place order on which of the agencies, the production agencies. The latest 414 will be used in this and the, com the 414 will be completely manufactured in India with manufacturing TOT from GE. That's what we are working and the shortly maybe another 2-3 to three weeks time we will come to know uh, we will get a letter issued by US government that this engine will be manufactured in India with a 100% manufacturing DOT. The production can be speeded up. The reasons for uh, men, uh, for delay could be multiple reasons. One is the supply chain and it's meant behind. the items need to come timely to integrate and do that as well. The maturity of subsystems, what you are developing, there will be some teething problems and other things. There could be a manufacturing, the processes are taking little more time that need to be automated more and more so all those things will help to uh, accelerate and the, another dimension is the number of production lanes for example today each chain okay production line is producing eight aircrafts a day. so we are mark one day they are planning to have two lanes each eight and trying to reach 16 so for mark two we are trying to plan we are we are initiated the three production lines will be working for Mark II to produce, that is a 24 aircraft per annum. In addition to that, the BMO office, the government of India is looking for an alternative production agency to enhance the production rate to 48 aircrafts. 
and we have mastered now how to accelerate the production rate also initially we used to get only one aircraft in a year four to four aircraft today eight aircraft we are targeting for all aircraft 16 aircraft so it is a, a learning curve by the time our learn, we might have matured in the learning process so mark 2 certainly will be producing the more than 24 aircraft per annum and this is a, the government of india is getting a, a inquiries a response from various countries for mark 2 existing countries has already approached and discussing with pm office for mark 2 and that is the reason pm office is asking i have to produce something like a 500 aircrafts tuned to 500 aircrafts of mark 2 please tell us how do you go about how many agencies private agencies are going to involve in this apart from this hl hl can meet service requirements like air force navy requirement but beyond that private partnership is required for that and it could be hl can be lead integrator all parts with major systems will come and they are simply they integrate and try to do the flight testing and deliver so all that kind of a thing we are working on that now the government is also asking for a reason the, the, the reduced cost to have a very competitive pricing in the worldwide so that we can position to increase the quantity in this regard they are asking you tell us what would be the cost and uh, i mean uh, we will give you the cost and try to tell us how many aircrafts you want to manufacture to meet the cost so that is a kind of a aggressive pursue i mean push is there from government of india for uh, increase our production rate we have uh, various subsidies on the uh, aircraft that have to that have different uh, maturing timelines uh, irst um, be it the uh, mos and uh, unified uh, warfare suite uh, can you tell us uh, when they are expected to be ready um, because i am pretty sure you have uh, alternates lined up for flight testing until then see the important thing is always country should look how to bring the platform first the technology should not be holding the whole platform coming out so towards that uh, we have a mitigation plans for example uh, we are not expecting any delay from irst coming from ird they are putting a best efforts and we are identifying a ftps flight test beds before it comes on to the mark 2 and how do you test and prove and integrate on mark 2 so that will be in a position to do a minimal spot checks on the platform hoping that the whole system will be available timely by the time prototype 2 or is available and uh, the things are in uh, in order to accelerate the whole development cycle and do the flight test in case if it is getting delayed as from the program point of view as a pd we have our mitigation plans so we need to discuss with our uh, drdo so senior leadership and we need to uh, i mean we have to invoke those alternatives at the canards yes. like i said uh, it is an unconventional layout where the canards are in front of the engine intake yes. so uh, you've done all the studies uh, to make sure that there is no interference yes right? yes your point is very valid point uh, since canards are uh, in front of engine I mean, air intake uh, there are a lot of doubts were there we have done extensive simulation studies and we have ensured that there are 400 470 mm spacing is there between wing to canard and the simulation study says that there is not much issue we will be in a position to mitigate and move forward otherwise in this platform and the locating the canards behind or maybe much forward it is a very difficult so given the platform configuration we supposed to position them according we optimally we position and the performance wise we are not anticipating any impact because internal tests were carried out in two campaigns to calspan us the internal results are very close to our uh, simulation results okay. and 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 are maybe better than that so we we don't see any we don't foresee any problem with the canards so uh, speaking of calspan this is uh, not related but uh, how much time delay does it add to your programs when you have see, to go there every time absolutely. because so, i'm pretty sure it's very yeah, bureaucratic absolutely. see the uh, very good question getting a slot itself is a difficult thing for uh, we are going for air intake okay studies at uh, vanera france 
we have booked the slot one year back. One year ahead, you have booked block the slot. Slot otherwise slots will not be available. It is a very time consuming and very costly. Each campaign will cost you a few tens of crores. That is the kind of a thing. And that is the reason we are also looking at establishing similar kind of facilities in the country so that the new programs which are coming, aerospace, I mean, airborne platforms are going to increase the exponentially in coming years. So each platform needs this kind of internal test facilities. And we have a very limited facilities at, uh, at NAL, at IAC, at Kanpur, and HEL. There are very few facilities is not to the tune of what we are having at Calspan and Bonira. Uh, so we are planning to have a full facility that is a one. In the similar kind of a another facility required for a platforms of this class is a full aircraft the chambers. Okay. Today if you want to do certain high uh, temperature like a high temperature test and all, we have to go to Jamnagar, you have to see the temperature is reaching to 40 plus then only we will be in a position to go and if, for example of suddenly sun rain or something like we are not, if we miss the slot, again we have to wait for another one year. So that is the way the program timelines are getting shifted left right. That is the reason we would, we would, we, would, we are planning to have the full size chambers and the internal tests in the country to reduce the development cycle of the platforms, design and development. Thank you, sir.